Hello, Grade 2. Open your Reader's Notebook, Volume 2, on page 139. Hello, everyone, and this is your last spelling page for this week. Thank you so much for working so hard. Let's start by writing the date at the top of the page. We are going to complete page 139. On this page, we need to proofread for spelling. Proofread the newspaper article. Circle the eight misspelled words. That means that there are eight words in the newspaper article that are spelled wrong. Misspelled means they're spelled wrong. Then write the correct spellings on the lines below. So you have all the correct spellings here in the box on the right hand side. Here is the newspaper article. Let's read it together and try and underline any mistakes that we see. New at the ranch. The Wild Bill Ranch is getting a new prize bull named Ollie. I think that sentence is just fine, so I'm going to put a tick. This morning, ranch hands arrived to unpack a huge crate. I think I notice a mistake. Unpack. That is spelled incorrectly. How can we spell unpack properly? Let's find it here in the list. Unhappy, retell, untangle, unkind, repaint, refill, unlike, remake, unpack. We found it. So, on number one, we should write unpack. In your nicest, neatest writing, on the line, write unpack. U-N-P-A-C-K. This spelling was missing the letter C. You should write the word on the line down here, okay? You can underline this word because it's spelled wrong, but don't write the correction up here. Better if you write it down here where you should. Out came a very unhappy bull. I see another mistake. Can you see it? Exactly, unhappy. In English, we rarely finish a word with an I. It should be a Y sound. So let's find unhappy. Here it is, number one. Very easy. Let's write unhappy on the line. U-N-H-A-P-P-Y. Now, the Y at the end of happy makes the long E sound. That's what I meant to say here. We don't put an I at the end of a word to make a long E sound. We put a Y. Unhappy. Two P's and a Y. It might seem unkind to put Ollie in a crate, said the rancher. I see another mistake. Unkind. It has an extra letter. This actually says unkinned. That is not correct. Let's look in our list to find unkind. Can you find it? That's right, it's here, unkind. Let's write it on the list in number three. U-N-K-I-N-D, unkind. But it was the best way to keep him safe. That sentence is fine. Once we unlock the crate and untangle Ollie from his blanket, he will soon forget about it. I see two mistakes in this sentence. Can you find them? Well done. The first mistake is unlock. And the second mistake is this word, which is supposed to be untangle. But if we look at it closely, it actually says, untangle -el. We don't want to say untangle -el. We want to say untangle. So, in your list, find unlock and write it in number four, and untangle and write it in number five. If you want to pause the video now while you do that, you can, and then play the video again when you're ready to start with number six. 
Ollie's new space is unlike the small pen he once called home. I see another mistake in this sentence. Unlike is spelled wrong. So here in your list, find the correct spelling for unlike and write it on number six. Watch tonight's news to see a replay of Ollie's arrival. Well, this definitely isn't correct. This actually says a repla. We don't want to say repla, we want to say replay. So we need to find the correct spelling of replay and write it in number seven. And the last one, you can buy the book that retells Ollie's story. Retells is spelled incorrectly. If we look at it closely, this says retails. We don't want to say retails. We want to say retells. So we find the correct spelling of the word retell and we, we write it on the line for number eight. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Don't forget to watch the spelling video one more time to make sure that you know all the spelling words with the prefixes un and re. Thanks for watching. You're the best. Bye bye.